season when he faced Atalanta last week. Instead, Matteo Politano joins Diego Falcinelli up front. Paul Lirola faces his parent club as he enters a second season on loan. And another ex Biancaneri frontman, Alessandro Matri, is amongst the substitutes. For Juventus, five new faces from the visit to Catalonia. Away we go. That Champions League defeat for Juventus was another suggestion that the old lady are not quite the force they were last season. But so far, a bit of space to pick out Juan Cuadrado. Good first touch from the Colombian. He's got support. He pulls it back. It was a good strike and a good save. And the first early chance for the champions. Certainly from set pieces, anyway. Quadrado. Dybala. Lovely feet. Paolo Dybala's cross. Looking for Higuain. It drops nicely for Matuid. Drew again. More space for the Brazilian. Whips in across. It's a lovely ball. Higuain's shot is saved. And the follow-up. Missed. I don't know how much the goalkeeper knew about this one. It was straight at him in fairness. Room to drive forward, moving away from Matuidi. That's very good work. Ajupong. Teed up nicely. And over the bar. Who score so far this season? Giving a reason for the home faithful to applaud. Wasn't the worst strike in the world. Oh. A Tweedy. Chiellini. Feeds it into the channel for Mandzukic. Clever pass. Oh, and a wonderful goal from Paolo Dybala. The little Argentinian has done it again. A sixth league goal of the season. And we're only four games in. It was well worked from Juventus. The ball to Mandzukic. The ball to Dybala. The ball in the net. Another wonderful moment for Paolo Dybala. And Juventus lead just over. This is the first of the Serie A action today. But following this on BT Sport 3, AC Milan host Udinese. That's a swallower in. And I think the flag was up. Let's have a look at this again. And that is very tight. And the wrong decision, in my opinion. Falcinelli almost scoring his first goal for the club in over a year and a half. But just quicker to the ball. Dybala. Sharp turn to feed Quadrado. And Achipong is the wrong side at the moment. He's pulled back and Higuain can't hit the target. It's a lovely ball from Dybala. And Achipong actually did quite well to kick it. Achipong. Politano. And once more. a little better at the moment Sassuolo as they go long cut out by Alexandra not the best header at all Arola back in again and that was very very awkward for you nice work from him Higuain and Quadrado wants it and gets it now and finds Dybala and he has done it yet again
He really is a fantastic footballer. Paolo Dybala on his 100th appearance for the club with his 51st goal. It's got a lovely symmetry to it and he's got a lovely left foot. to beat and Sassuolo will score it's game on Politano back in the side and on the score sheet just the second goal Sassuolo have managed this season and it's probably come at just the right time not that long after Juventus had made it 2-0 Sassuolo have kept this game alive and it's the teenage fullback who's helped to make the goal got the ball past Buffon Rugani couldn't clear Chiellini free kick from Dybala Patrick for Paolo Dybala <laughs> His second hat-trick of the season so far. And there is no doubt he is the star man for Juventus already this season. A performance to remember. Three terrific goals. What a truly brilliant way to complete a hat-trick. We know he's capable of magic and he has proved it today. Dybala. And they might be in again, Juventus. That was a fantastic challenge. Sensi. No real option, really. But that was a dangerous ball and a dipping effort. Just... The last salvo. Duncan plays it in and it might work out. That's a very good challenge. Douglas Costa and Dybala's in the middle. Douglas Costa going alone, pulling it back. Quadrado must score. Oh, he doesn't. Somehow Ajipong with a block and Juventus denied a fourth. Douglas Costa with a pullback. I think he was probably looking for Dybala. And at some block. 